Hi, it's Rick here from The Game Creators and welcome to the third App Game Kit Studio sneak peek video. Today we're going to look at the Media Asset Browser. The main aim of this window is to help you visualise the media files of your project and also media files in different areas of your storage devices. This is where you can select different folders containing assets and this area is where you can visualise those assets. Let's take my Tetris style game and have a look in the folder there. We've got some music files, images, we've even got the byte code, we can see that over here in a hex format or if it was text it would show you text. So you can quickly click through and visualize the images and also see information about the images. Remember you can make the preview larger just pull the window out, then you can see more detail. And of course you can place it where you want. I mean the great thing about this window system is it's very flexible. You can have them floating or you can dot them like so. So that's images, sound and music. What about 3D? Well let's open this folder here. You can see we've got a media folder. We can open the deeper levels of it click on the models folder and here are all the 3D models used in this project. Let's take the billboard mesh. Here we have it. Let's make it a bit bigger like so. We can zoom in on it. Now it's a 3D mesh. It's rotating. We can stop it rotating. We can rotate it in different axes like this. We can even use the mouse to do the same. It's got no texture on. So if we go to the images folder. Here are some textures that I know will work on this 3D model. We just drag and drop onto the diffuse button and there you go. It adds a texture to the model. And if you have a normal map you can drag them there as well. So that's 3D objects. In this project, Game Gear Loader, we've got things like shaders. So we can preview the shader, but also if we double click we can edit the shader in the main editor window and you can also test the shader to make sure it's correct. So you don't need to do that outside of the editor, you can do it internally within Studio. Let's go back to our Rictress game, look at the media there. Let's say I wanted to bring in some media from another location. Um, I've got an old game here Probably the first game ever written on GameKit when we were first developing it, uh, Snake Snacker. So I need to take the apple and move it into my Rictress media folder. Well, we have a, an option here, copy, copy file to current project media folder. If I click on that, then when we go back to Rictress, there's the apple, then I can drag and drop it. And as you can see, it takes the file name and creates an image name and you've got some code automatically created for you. Okay, that concludes today's video. Please subscribe, click the bell for updates. If you'd like to learn more about our pre-order offer coming up in March, then sign up to our newsletter on the Game Creators website here. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.